a certain sum becomes n times n t years in such problems either we have to find out the r percent or n years so either of the two values uh, uh, have to be found out and further the sum is either growing at a simple interest rate or at a compound interest so let's have uh, a problem on simple interest how long will it take a sum of money to double itself at r percent uh, growing at a simple interest rate so uh, what uh, what type of information uh, have been uh, given here uh, you see that uh, uh, the rate person has been given here uh, a certain sum means p the value of p hasn't been told uh, we assume that p is x if p is x and it doubles itself this means the amount is 2x so if we apply the formula of simple interest then uh, we would write p uh, is x p is x we have assumed that p is x the value of r has been given that is uh, 10% and we don't know uh, the value of uh, t this is what we have to find out <coughs> you see uh, two values are unknown in this equation two values are unknown though we have assumed the value of x so uh, p uh, we have assumed the value of p but uh, still we don't know the value of si and t we can't solve this equation until uh, we find a value for uh, si or for t but we can't uh, put the value of t here because this is we are uh, finding out so we should uh, put the value of si here uh, to understand this thing uh, let's have uh, another problem for example the value of uh, x is 2 the value of y is 4 and the value of z is unknown and we have to find out uh, the value of z so we write equation that uh, uh, x plus y plus z so if we write uh, uh, x is 2 and uh, y is 4 so uh, still we can't find out the value of z because two values are unknown here either we should put the value of k only then we can find out the value of z or we should put the value of z here then we can solve it but we can't put the value of z because we don't know it so somehow we have to bring the value of uh, k so if we write the value of k here 8 this means 2 plus 4 is 6 uh, uh, will be subtracted from 8 so the value of z is the value of z is in this case is 2 so this became possible because uh, this became possible just because we had we had put the value of k so in the uh, uh, in the same way we have to put the value of uh, si in order to find out the value of t so what we do that we find out the value of si so what is the uh, relation uh, relation is amount is equal to principal plus uh, simple interest so if uh, we have to find out the value of simple interest we take principal on the left hand side then amount minus principal uh, is equal to si so uh, what was the amount we had assumed that uh, uh, what was the principal principal was x so we write principal as x x dollar and amount because the principal will uh, double itself be it would become 2x uh, so we, we write for amount 2x so then when we subtract uh, amount uh, uh, pr principal from amount we get si is equal to x because 2x minus x is equal to x now we put the value of si uh, that is x so now the equation is like this so this is the equation